Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Nantzer. We're back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about PXP missions and how to complete these things a little quicker. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what PXP is, that is player XP, basically what it is. You use a player, you get XP points. And there's a lot of these missions here that are required to get completed to get through programs. As you can see here, we are in the April Tops Now program. When we see this, we immediately start to think of the player of the month program that will be coming at the beginning of May. And let me tell you guys, these programs are not easy to complete and it revolves a lot around these PXP missions. So I wanted to get this video out now so we can kind of prep and kind of have the ball rolling by the time the player of the month program drops. So without further ado, if you guys are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and throw a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Let's hop into a PXP. So the first thing I wanna talk about is make sure you know what exact PXP mission you are grinding for. The PXP missions can be a player specific, it can be team specific. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you jump, jump into these missions and make sure and look at what they are and make sure that you build your lineup around that mission. One of the easiest positions out there to grind PXP for is the pitcher. And there is a specific game mode that I like to use that is very beneficial in grinding PXP missions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is conquest mode. Conquest mode is by far my favorite mode to try to get PXP missions completed for pitchers. Now, of course, you guys can do play versus CPU, mini seasons, events, rank seasons, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and do it. But the reason why I think Conquest is the best to grind PXP for pitchers is because when you play Conquest, so say I'm in the US map right here and I go to play the Rockies, right? I use Corbin Burns as my pitcher. When I jump into the next game to go play the Royals, his energy bar is going to be full again. So I can keep using him over and over and over. Obviously during the game, he will use, uh, lose energy. But when you jump into the next game, his energy bar is going to be full again so you can keep using him over and over and over and over so conquest mode pxp for the pitchers definitely the best mode to use now when it comes to the hitters i have a method that i like to use now for pxp they're not looking for doubles they're not looking for triples they're not looking for anything specific they're looking just for uh at bats you know hits stuff like that they're not looking for any specific stats so what do we want to do we want to hit home runs right we're gonna get more pxp that way so i've got a method here um, if you guys are not on next gen, unfortunately, you guys cannot do this. But if you guys are on previous gen, use a higher elevation stadium. Uh, try to use like Laughing Mountain Park, Horse Field, those types of parks. If you are on next gen, you're in luck. Go into the create option right here and go into the stadium creator vault. And you're going to want to look for a specific ballpark that is called Global Baseball League Stadium. Now. If this, if you can't find this for whatever reason, there's plenty of parks out there that are just like this. Make sure they are max elevation. You can see it right there, right above the Global Baseball League Stadium is at 5279 elevation. That is max, I believe. And then if you guys look at the fences out there, the fence is really short and very low. So you can hit home runs by hitting line drives and you can miss a piece or miss the ball with your PCI by a lot and hit a pop fly and the ball might still leave because of the higher elevation but when you're grinding pxp you're gonna make sure that you are playing on this stadium because you're gonna hit a lot of home runs if you can't find that look for stadiums like blank canvas blank canvas is another one very very similar to that just make sure you find the right place in the vault max elevation and a lower fence so before we get into the method again you guys are gonna want to set your lineup here I have separate tabs right here. Whenever I'm grinding PXP for specific missions, I go to my grind roster right here and I set my roster to whatever I need it to be. So we're going to hop into the game modes that we want to use and you can use online. Yes, you do get a little bit more PXP when you're playing online, but I still think you're getting more faster when you're playing against the CPU because obviously you play a lot better when you're playing against the CPU. You hit more home runs. When you're playing events and ranked seasons and stuff like that, you're playing a live opponent, so the games are a little more competitive. Game's a little slower. You're not hitting as many home runs. So yeah, I still think single player is the best way to go. But if you don't want to do single player, events is a really, really good way to try to get PXP for specific players. But we go over to single player here. Conquest, of course, is a very good one, but the problem with Conquest is that you're gonna be away every single game. So that park that I showed you a minute ago, 
you're not going to be playing on that one. Play versus CPU is the second best one. Reason why I say that is because Mini Seasons is hands down the best. One, you get to play against the CPU, you get to play home games, and at the end of these Mini Seasons, you get a lot of rewards and you get a lot of packs. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. Mini Seasons is by far the best game mode to get PXP. Play versus CPU is good, but why not go to Mini Seasons and try to complete these and get some packs at the end? So when you hop into Mini Seasons, you're gonna wanna make sure that you choose this classic mode Mini Season. These other two mini seasons have lineup requirements. So unless that player meets that requirement, you can go in here. But if he doesn't, you're not you're not going to be able to use them. So go into classic mode. There is no roster restrictions here. Now we're into mini seasons. We've set our lineup. We are ready to grind some PXP. When you're hopping into these games, you're going to want to make sure that you are playing the games that are home games. You want to be on the right side right here. So. Uh, these first two games i'll jump into the game and then i'll just quit out that's how you basically simulate a game you're gonna get the loss of course but if you guys are trying to get through many seasons and get wins of course you can play these games but if you're just playing to grind pxp just play the home games so you get that stadium so now i've quit out of my first two games here and now we're ready for our first home game and we're gonna hop in here before you jump into the game before you jump into the difficulty pick the difficulty that you are most comfortable with okay I know you do get a little bit more PXP if you play on a higher difficulty, but if I go play on Legend, I'm not going to do very well at all. So it, you're going to progress a little faster if you're on a difficulty that's a little lower and hitting more home runs on. Don't go on a higher difficulty unless you are completely comfortable with it. So for me, I'm going to kind of go in the middle here. I'm going to go on All Star. I'm pretty comfortable on All Star. And I get a little bit of a boost here with the PXP. So we'll do All-Star. Of course, don't forget to select your Global Baseball League Stadium or whatever glitchy creative stadium that you had. And then, of course, be sure to pick your pitcher that you are going to be using the PXP for in this. Do keep in mind that these players will lose energy. So the next game, they will not have as much energy. So try to pick multiple pitchers that you're grinding pxp for just a little fun tip here when you guys are grinding pxp for pitchers against the cpu what you want to do is just alternate your pitches uh start with a high and end fastball go with a slider curveball whatever and then after that you're going to go to fastball again high and end they have a lot of trouble hitting high and end pitches just make sure you keep alternating them go ahead and try it here high and end fastball and show you guys what i'm talking about strike one now we're gonna go to a slow pitch let's do a low splitter the cpu does like to chase a lot so if you throw it out of the zone don't think they're not gonna throw it but we're back to the high and end fastball see they just stand there they don't, a lot of times they don't even swing at it now we're gonna go for the curveball in the dirt and this should do it strikes him out it's a really good method just keep alternating back and forth all right so now we're hitting here i want to show you guys how easy it is to hit a home run here uh, we are an all-star Mickey Mantle, let's see what we could do. I'm hoping I get one of those like fluky home runs because on this stadium, it happens a lot. But there we go. I mean, I, look at the PCI. I was early, I wasn't really on it. And I even got a no doubt animation, like 89.1 exit velocity. That was a very, very fluky home run. It's the kind of thing I'm talking about at this ballpark. You're gonna hit a lot of home runs and get a lot of easy PXP. But yeah, guys, those are my favorite methods when it comes to grinding PXP. If you guys have a method that you like to use, throw it down in the comments for everybody else to see. But this is my method. This is what I like to use. Of course, you can get PXP in online play, but I do think single player is the best way to go. That's going to be it for me, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, throw a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here. Peace.